Hey guys, it's Di, and it has been a meeting full day, meeting full of meetings day. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's Friday though, so um, it's Friday. Um, I have my mask here, and I had to run out to go to Target because we're completely out of juice. We need dinners for the next two nights, which I'm hoping to find. I'm going to pick up some stuff to make snow cones at home and just have a whole list of stuff here to get at Target. But in the Shane shopping complex that I'm in, there is Kirkland's. So I thought I would just run in here because they are now open. Um, I'm looking for another uh, or a new doorway mat for our front door to kind of finish off that area. And I saw one that I liked online. I don't know if it's online only but I thought I'd run in and check while I'm over here um, it's been a good day it's just been busy because um, today on my Facebook page I was sharing Halloween videos all day long because it's actually half halfway to Halloween apparently I cannot talk today I've been in back-to-back -back phone meetings for the whole afternoon for my work work so um, anyhow I had to kind of switch gears in the middle of the day but I had fun sharing Disney videos this morning from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in 2014 and 2015. All those playlists are here on YouTube if you want to check those out. We also did Mickey's Halloween Scary Party, Not So Scary Halloween Party on 2017 as well, but we were actually there on Halloween night in 2014 and 15. So those are really special years, and I would love to go again on Halloween night. This year, Halloween is on a Saturday, so you never know. I don't know. Fingers crossed. There's so much just up in the air with life and the world and just everything right now. Who knows? But um, it's been a fun day to look back at all those Halloween videos. So I'll share those playlists down below if you want to watch those. They're some of my favorite videos. But man, oh man, has my camera quality gotten a lot better. Wow. I was looking back at some of those videos from 2014. And of course, I just had like a little handheld camera, but the quality was less back then. And my cameras do a lot better in low light now, I will say that. But I'm going to run in here real quick and then head over to Target and hopefully find some stuff for dinner that I can go home and make for dinner tonight. Go-to accessory now. So I have some more masks coming from Monkeys and Cupcakes, um, which once those are here, I'll switch over to like more of the cotton mask. But we had some of these left over from our trip, so I've been using these just because I have them. So I'm picking up all of the essentials and some not essentials too. All the kids cute clothing that we're not really going to need much of this year. I'm going to go check my socks in the undergarment section real quick and here's what's in store if you are not able to go to your stores there's lots of cute fourth of july stuff i love the little bag okay back to the car got my mask on gonna be hot this summer but that's okay so I picked up a few fun things at Kirkland's just for some kind of finishing off the core. This wasn't actually the one that I was looking at. I think the one that I was looking at was online only. But I ended up getting this Good Vibes Only to go on this rug from Target. And I'll use this on our front door porch. Then I got this porch rule sign at Kirkland's also. And I thought that this was pretty good because that's pretty much everything that we always do on our porch. There's Penguin just chilling out there. <laughs> Dan's and Dan's fun. out actually putting the roof on the, yeah, I got pistachios too. Dan's putting the roof out on the playhouse. So I'll share that today too. But I got this cute lantern. It's supposed to light up. So I don't know if we need to like set it out in the sun or whatnot. But I got this for the kids' playhouse. I thought this could be a nice light. Um, a solar lantern, eight and a half inch. And I had a birthday coupon actually. And they gave me a birthday candle. So that was nice um, since my birthday is in May. And then I also got this cute little flag to stick outside of the girls' um, playhouse. And it says Sweet Summertime on it. So. Actually, I think both of our favorite seasons are actually summer. Yeah, so I thought that would be cute just to put outside. Plus, it's got the yellow. It's got the lemons on there. So that goes with the chairs. I got tons of stuff at Target, which I'm starting to put away. And I'm also making dinner. We're going to have that innovation stuff. But the main takeaway from Target is I found these Star Wars vanilla sandwiches and Mickey Mouse bars and Mickey Mouse cookies and cream sandwiches. They had all of that in stock. Tonight we're going to have this vegetable fried rice with the sweet and sour chicken. This I put in the oven, which the oven's almost preheated, so I need to get it on um, the sheet. And then this goes in the microwave. 
So there is the rug that I got at Kirkland's. I'm being overseen by Penguin. And so here's the bottom half of what I have going on down here so far. <laughs> Accent dog. I think one of my projects next week I'm actually going to make, I have a bunch of wreaths that I've made for the door, but I think I'm not going to actually make a new wreath because I have a lot of the burlap and I just need to get some. I think I'm going to do like all white flowers. I'm, I don't know, I need to see what I what kind of vibe I go for next week. Um, but I have the stuff to make another wreath. So I think that's going to be one of my projects for next week. So this stuff is almost done. I will just leave the chicken plain for the girls. So they'll eat it. This is just the temper chicken. And then we have the orange um, sauce on the side that my husband and I can dip it in or put it over the chicken if we want. And then the fried rice is almost done. So I'm going to go give my husband a heads up. He's outside putting a roof on a playhouse right now. Penguin, his faithful assistant. Putting the roof edge on. Hey, dinner's done, babe. Penguin thinks this is the most awesome dog house ever. <laughs> you like your house, buddy? So we've got our decor that we'll probably start putting in. Probably not tomorrow because I think it's supposed to rain, but whatever day it doesn't rain next. I'm going to work on opening up these Safa Vea chairs. So we've gotten a lot of things from this brand. Actually, I think all of these rugs are Safa Vea brand. They make really good quality stuff. I generally find it on Overstock, but they have it other places too. And I was looking at outdoor furniture specifically for kids and I just was not thrilled with really much of anything that I was finding. And these chairs came up and they seemed like they would be a good fit. Now we'll see if they're too heavy, but um, I'm going to try to put these together and hopefully these will work. This looks pretty straightforward directions wise, so hopefully it should be pretty easy. Look how pretty this yellow is. This is what I wanted with something really bright and fun. So these are just like director's chairs and they have like a teak look. Isn't that pretty? They're actually kind of big, but we'll see. Hopefully they don't take up too much room in the playhouse. What do you think about the yellow? Hold on a second. It's not put together yet. <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. I'm going to go upstairs. You guys doing Beyblades battles? No, no. I have two new ones. And I'm also teaching her the arts in whom I cannot tell the All right. The Strategic. Strategic Beyblade battles. Yeah, these are really good quality. Hopefully they're not too big. So all that has to be screwed on these is just to screw in this top, like back of the seat. But you can kind of get a sense of what they're gonna look like. So I'm gonna go get the screwdriver from my husband, but they're very pretty. So there is the first one put together. It was pretty easy. I just had to use a screwdriver to get the screw in the back. And they are super bright. I love it. They're not even as bright on the camera, I can tell, um, as they are in real life. It's a super vibrant yellow. I absolutely love it. It looks like sunshine. So here are those bright chairs. I absolutely love them. So I'll wait until he's done out there to start decorating. But here are the pillows that I got at Home Goods, And these were on clearance. And I got two for $12. So I thought those would just be some great outdoor pillows. They should hopefully clean up really well. I love the medallion print on them. And they're another bright pop color. And just to kind of see how this is all coming together, this is the lantern that I found at Kirkland's. And it kind of has a little bit of a geometric, that quatrefoil print. And this glows. And when it gets dark, I'll have to show this. It's really cool. And then here is the flag that I got at Kirkland's and it has a flag stand that goes with it too. You can see it's kind of got the blue and the yellow to kind of tie everything in. I didn't use a lot of pink um, just because I didn't want it to be overly pink, but I thought this would just be a cute little pop of pink. Plus I love that it said sweet summertime on it. And there's our faux plant that we got at Target that we're gonna hang up inside. And Dan's out there, poor Dan. He's out there putting shingles on this thing. He wants to get it done. So I'm going to turn off the light outside and video this and see if it can show up on the camera or not. All right, let's see. It's dark. Here 
Oh yeah, you can really see it. It actually has kind of like a little starburst pattern that's not showing up on the camera, but you can see in real life. That is it for our day. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along this week for our day in the life. So we'll be back with some more day in the lives coming up next week. And it is the last official week of school at home <laughs> next week. And then after that, our summer starts. So we will be back for summer vlogs indefinitely. <laughs> so thanks for watching and have a great day.